In today's tutorial, I will show you how to easily create infrared look in Luminar Neo. Now the infrared look is the result of the infrared photography captured with a special infrared film or infrared filter or converted infrared camera. Now in today's tutorial, I will show you how to create a similar look without the need for special equipment. Ok, so moving into Luminar Neo and the catalog module. And here we're gonna start by looking at few examples of the effect or look we're gonna be creating today. Starting with the first image, let's make it nice and big. And we have this lovely capture of the temple and also a nice example of combining two different infrared looks together. We have the pink and purple on the temple and the landscape and then the blue infrared look on the water. Moving on to the next example, this is a great example of using combination of the original image and the pink infrared look again on only a part of the image. Another example of the same, we have the original blue sky in the combination with the pink infrared look on the tree and the grass. Again, moving on, this is one of my favorite captures. This is example of the blue infrared look applied across the image, creating this lovely fantasy look. Moving on, another example of using part of the original image and part of the infrared effect. This is the orange look in combination with the original image. Moving on, here is an example of the purple infrared look, again applied across the image, creating this lovely look. Finally, this is an example of the yellow-orange look in a combination with that very popular aqua color in the sky. So those are the examples and we can now go ahead and start creating this unique infrared look. Ok, so to start we need to access our sample files. Now if you want to follow me along and do the edit on your own computer, all you need to do is to jump into the description of this video, follow the link there and download the sample files now. Now for today's video and today's class, you will get an additional selection of LUTs we're going to be using later on in the tutorial. So make sure that you download everything, import the two images and we can start. Now, when it comes to the infrared look, I have a two techniques I want to show you and two ways on how you can create it. So let's start with the first one. And for that, we need the first image with the rocks and the little village under it. Click on it to select it and then move it into edit module. Here, first thing we need to do is to duplicate the image or the layer. For this, we're going to move into the layers panel. Right click on the image and select duplicate layer. So now we have two images here. One on the top, which is the one we're looking at right now and the original under. So make sure you have the image on the top selected and then move into the editing panel. Here we're going to be going into the develop tool. So click on it to open it and let's make sure that everything is nice and visible. We can close the light and we're going to be focusing on the curves. Here in the curves, click on the little gray or white button right here and we're going to use the curves to invert the image. To do that, it's really simple. We're going to take the little dot or point at the bottom left corner and we're going to bring it all the way up. After that, we're going to bring our attention to the second point and we're going to bring it all the way down. So simple, invert for the image created by using the curves in the develop tool. Once again, all you need to do is to take the point in the bottom left corner and bring it up and take the point in the top right corner and bring it down. So that's the first step. Now we can close the develop tool and we can return up to the editing panel where we're going to open the layer properties. One more time, make sure that you have the new layer selected, the layer on the top and then come back to layer properties and this time change the blend mode from normal 
into the color. By doing that, just like magic, we have the beautiful purple infrared look on our image. So that's really easy, right? You duplicate the layer, you invert it, and then for the inverted layer, you change the blend modes in the layer properties from normal into the color. Now we can adjust this a little bit further. And there are multiple different ways on how you can do this, but the easiest is to go all the way down to the professional section and open the color harmony tool. In the color harmony tool, we want to open the color balance tab. If you can't see it, just click on it. And here start by choosing the shadows in a gray drop down box. Once you do that, you can start moving the sliders around. Now there is not a specific order in it. You need to see what you prefer. However, really just play around. So for example, let's adjust the cyan red. We can bring it down. And by doing that, we are getting more of the kind of blue effect and blue look. Or when we bring it the other way around, we get more of the bright pink purple look. Of course that you can also adjust the magenta green. By doing that, you will get more magenta in the shadows or going the other way around, you will get more green in the shadows. And similarly for the yellow blue, you can really play around with it and see what you prefer. After that, once you finish here, you can then switch from shadows into the highlights and again, play around with it, see what you like. You can make it more blue or you can make it much more pink red. Really, the combination is up to you. So take your time and create a specific look that you like. Once we close the Harmony tool, you can now go ahead, save this as a preset and use it in the future. To do that, we're going to go to the bottom where we're going to click on Actions and click on Save as Preset. It will bring us into the Presets module and into My Presets folder. Here we can name the preset, so we're going to call it Infra Purple. And now anytime in future you want to try to recreate this look, you just come back here, click on the preset and apply it to your image. So this was the first technique for creating the infrared look for your images. And now I want to show you a second technique, which will give you even more creative possibilities. Now, before we going to continue, I wanted to remind you that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo Photo Manipulation Masterclass. This amazing course is designed to help you to unlock your creativity and boost your photo editing skills in Luminar Neo. With 15 fun and exciting projects and over six hours of high quality videos, you're going to love it. So if you're interested in learning more, head over to our website, cleverphotographer.com. And to get the best possible price, make sure that you follow the link in the description of this video. Okay, so coming back to our second technique for the infrared effect. First, we need to come back to catalog module and select the second sample file. Once ready, move it into edit module. And from here, we're going to start. Now, for the second technique, we're going to use the power of LUTs. And the LUTs here in Luminar Neo are used in a tool called Mood Tool. So for this, we need to navigate to our main editing toolbar, then into the creative section. And here in the middle is the Mood Tool. So let's click on it to open it. And first thing we need to do, we need to import the LUTs. To do that, we're going to click on a choose LUT gray drop down box. And the first option on the top says add custom LUT file. So let's go ahead and click on that. Just like that, the application will open a new window. And what I want you to do is to navigate into your sample files for this episode, where you're going to see the sample files as well as the folder called infrared LUTs. Now open it and you will see inside there are five LUTs I created for you. You're more than welcome to keep them and use them on any future projects. 
Now to use them, simply select all of them. You can select them with your mouse or you can use Control or Command A and then click on Add in the bottom right corner of this window. Now it only going to take a few seconds and they will be added into the Mood tool. Just remember that for these LUTs, specifically the infrared ones, first thing we want to do is to increase the amount all the way up to 100%. After that, again, we're going to click on Choose LUT Gray Dropdown Box. And just like magic, we now have the Custom LUTs folder here. From here, we can now come inside of the folder and hover over these LUTs here. Once we hover over them, they will adjust the image. So as you can see, this is the blue look. Then we also have the orange look, pink look, red look, and yellow look. So it really is up to you which one you want to apply. So for me, I think let's go for the pink. Let's click on it, select it, and it will be applied to your image. Now, once you apply it, you can still come back to the amount slider and bring it down a little bit if you think that the effect is a little bit too strong. So it really is up to you. You can have the full color just like this, or you can bring it down a little bit. For me, I think we're going to go to somewhere around 95. And here, once we're happy, we can just close the mood tool and continue with the edit. Now, just like with the first technique, you can adjust the colors a little bit. There are different tools you can use. You can go ahead and try the color tool in the essential section and adjust the HSL panel. Or again, we can use all the way down in a professional section, the color harmony. Here, the color balance. Make sure that you are in the shadows in a gray dropdown box. And here you can play around with the cyan red slider or the magenta and green, or the yellow and blue. Depending what you like, really, the combinations are limitless. Just don't forget that you can also switch from shadows into the highlights and do the same thing again, play around with it. So for example, you can adjust the highlights to have them different color, then maybe play around with the magenta and so on. So you need to play around with this to see what works for you and what you prefer. However, this is a great way of adjusting the overall look. One more time, if you finish here, you can close the color harmony and you are done. Just like with the first technique, of course, that you can go to the bottom of the screen, click on actions and click on save as presets. Now, just like before, we come back to the my presets folder and we can call this infrared light pink. Just hit enter and that's it. So now when you return, you can apply this directly to your image. So this is how you can use the LUTs to create the infrared look. Now we have the preset saved. So let's go back to edit module where I want to show you one more thing. The advantage of using the mood tool is that you can apply different looks to different parts of your image. So what we're going to do, we're going to reset the edit and then we're going to start again. So back to the main editing toolbar, again into the mood tool and click on choose LUT. Here, go back to the custom LUTs and let's start by adding the pink look. Now, as you can see, I haven't increased the amount for the mood tool, so the effect is very little. However, we can still click on pink look and then come back to the amount slider and increase it. So again, let's go to somewhere around 95. And what I would like to do, I would like to apply the pink only to the landscape, not to the water. So for this, we can do this quite quickly by going into the masking and then we're going to use the power of mask AI. So let's click on that and by using that, the application will scan the image and prepare the automatic mask for us. As you can see, the selection is between sky, flora, architecture, water, mountains, and natural ground. So as we want to apply it to everything other than water, let's go ahead and select these elements. So everything except the water. It's only going to take a second and the application will then mask everything other than the water. Now, as you can see, everything that is red is selected. 
So let's click on the little arrow in front of the Mask AI to come back to the menu and let's look at what we have. Now looking at it, it did pretty decent job. However, there are some parts that didn't get masked. So to adjust this, we're going to use simple brush. So let's click on brush. We want to make sure that we are on paint. We can adjust the size of our brush. Make sure that the strength is on 100. Again, adjust the size using the bracket keys on your keyboard. And now go ahead and brush over the areas where you want to get the pink infrared effect. It only takes a second and now we have everything masked the way we want it. However, as you can see, the combination of the green water with the pink landscape doesn't look the best. So to adjust it, we can apply different infrared color to the water. To do that, we're going to close the mood tool and apply the pink effect to the image. And now what we need to do is to open the mood tool again and increase the amount slider all the way to 100. After that, again, choose LUT and custom LUTs folder. Let's hover over the options. We have the blue, then we have the orange, pink, red or yellow. Now looking at the options, I think I prefer the blue. So let's select it and click on it. And after that, again, we're going to mask it only to the water. So you already know what to do. Click on masking, then click on mask AI. And from all the options here, select water. Just like that, it's going to select the water automatically. And to see it, we need to click on the little arrow in front of the mask AI. Now it looks all right, but I think the blue is a little bit strong. So to adjust it, you already know what to do. Let's go back into the adjustment tab and bring the amount slider down. So let's see, I think maybe somewhere around here is good. Maybe a little bit more. And that's about it. Once we're happy with the result and with the look, we can close the mood tool and we are done. So this is how you take the infrared look even further by applying different colors and different effects to a specific parts of your image. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminargif. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.